Don't research you, something you love because you may find out you're wrong. I'm a cognitive behaviorist. I'm not trying to change a person's life. All I'm trying to do is assist that person to come to grips with the situation at hand. One person described me as the enemy. I said, do you guys ever talk about prevention? People look at me like with daggers, my counseling people. So we wrote this grant. We certainly didn't know what to do or how to do it. And I became one of the first elementary school counselors in the country. And then I would model behavior for the first couple of times. The eight-year-olds would adapt it. I mean, what I'm suggesting here is that eight-year-olds became the counselors. The community does the work. You didn't write books to make money. I wrote books for freedom. I couldn't see writing it in a traditional way. You'll see a boring, boring, boring wham. Gay liberation in 1971. My job is always to look beyond my box. Now does the world change overnight? Not really, okay? But does it change? You're damn right it changes. But I still haven't answered the questions that I went into the field for. Eventually, you have to say, okay, I've done my part, and where do I want to go from here? Now, everybody is getting better when you help other people. And you could talk all about how good you are, but if you've never done anything for anybody else, how would you ever know, really? What's it measured on? How much money you make? What? <laughs>